it's kind of interesting uh, how how it came about uh, in terms of a business because uh, back in 2011 when we started the Goa Swimathon, it was just a group of friends who said, you know what, there is this expanse of water and we want to swim across it. Uh, and we were 17 of us uh, who <laughs> who, were, who were crazy enough to come up with the concept and say, let's do it. Um, we swam across the Zuari River from um, from Vasco to uh, Vaingani Beach, a Siddhadi Goa. Uh, 17 of us attempted it, 11 of us completed it. Uh, the others had interesting stories to tell. Okay. Right? <laughs> we strongly believe and I strongly believe that the sea is a unifying factor. Yeah. Right? It doesn't discriminate. Um, everyone is equal when you come into the ocean. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's what draws people. That was draws people because, it, like I said, you know, it doesn't matter what how old you are, what gender you are, what race, religion, skin color. It's just about coming there and enjoying it and being a part of it. So that's what it started it off. I always like to compare uh, swimming in a pool uh, as like running on a treadmill, right? Okay. It's the same. It's the same all the time, and it's not that it's bad. It's great. It's a fantastic form of exercise, but swimming in the sea is like running in the open, right? It's dynamic. It keeps changing every day I know two swims are ever the same which is Absolutely. what makes it so interesting I think when it comes to being an entrepreneur um, you have to have a little bit of risk appetite right um, it's something which is a little scary initially because when you're used to drawing a paycheck at the end of the month and you have certain bills to pay and you know that you know it's going to go towards that it gives you a feeling of safety and security which as a startup you may not have initially right uh, but you need to have that focus and that commitment towards a goal and then you need to have a long-term plan right and I always tell people if you're going to be doing uh, an entrepreneurship kind of a job um, or work rather uh, don't look at it for the next one or two years right you should have a 10 and a 20 year plan if you have a certain passion if you have a certain commitment and if your if your groundwork is good if you've done your research if you've done your you know your your market surveys before you start i mean it's not something that you get into blindly you do a lot of background work before you get into it but having said that and having done that once you do make that commitment you're going to see it through and it's going to be a fantastic journey while you do it sometimes i speak to youngsters and i ask them what do you guys want to do yeah. right uh, and it's a perfectly fine answer if somebody says we don't know. Yeah. You know, and I say this at the age of, even at the age of 50 and 60, there are yeah. people who don't know. Yeah. And you know what, there's nothing wrong in not knowing. Yeah. Correct. You know, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a falsehood that we inculcate in a child that at the age of 20, they need to know where their what career is going, going to go. Yeah. And that's not necessarily yeah. the yeah. fact because it keeps changing, you know. Uh, and that's the great part about life, it gives you a chance to, and, I, and, and that's a great part about Goa as well, right? It gives you a chance to be what you want to be and it also allows you to con constantly reinvent yourself. Absolutely. You know, um, yeah. you don't have to do the same thing that you did 10 years back if you don't want to. And if you have something that you want to do and you feel that it's something which works for you, it gives you the chance to do that, which is great, which is great.